Good morning everyone, it is Friday the 12th of March. I'm starting this vlog on a Friday because I'm actually doing something on a Friday. I'm not at work. Um, it's my granddad's 90th birthday party. Now he was 90 a couple of days ago, but his party is actually today. So we are going to, I think it's like, oh it's just outside of Birmingham, like Sully Hall way on and um, that's where he lives but um we're going to Nuthurst Grange Country Ho House Hotel something like that um so that should be fun I think there's a buffet there like that they've like put on and I'm not really too sure what else but we shall go and see I will try and f like film a few clips if I can when I can and hopefully it will be a lovely day um apart from that this weekend not really got anything planned probably do some cleaning around the house oh and the update on my dad thank you everyone um, in the comments and for liking the video last week when my dad had a heart attack he got his stent fitted this week and he is out of hospital so he is back home now which is, is just like such a relief so thank you so much for everyone who's commented and liked this video um, for my dad and you know wishing him well and your best wishes etc but yeah he is well and back in his own home so I have got ready I am wearing this dress again and I have just straightened my hair I'll, uh, I, I did film straightening my hair so I will insert the footage after this clip but yeah let's go to Solly Hall This is the update on my plants. I might actually sort these plants out the, this weekend because obviously some over there needs repotting. Um, and obviously this one, these are getting so tall. Look at that, these are tomatoes. But yeah, the peas are just shooting straight up. Loads and loads of carrots. I really don't know what, what I am to do with them. They're, they're having like the roots out as well. Might have to... Uh, chat to Stuart's mum again and see whether I actually need to do something more with them but yeah they are still thriving guys we have arrived at the Nuthurst Grange Country House Hotel. I am here with Stuart 
he drove the three hours it took to get here and I'm with my mum. My mum, wave. <laughs> so we are very, very early. We're quite like, well, we're like half an hour early. Mm. My fault. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I wanted to get here in good time and yeah. What do I want? Can I have a bit of everything? I think you can look. I'm just going to have a bit of everything. Thank you. That's all right, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Especially after a couple of glasses of Prosecco. Oh, how nice. Oh, it's really good. I don't trust myself. I'm going to make a mess before the end of the day. Lovely, thank you. Yes, please. We're all family. And some chicken as well, yeah. Everything but cauliflower. I know it's a pain in the ass if I go rooting around. You are literally a pain in the ass. I know, but cauliflower is the devil. It is not the devil. It's so bad. I, admittedly, I'm not going to be able to tell anything about no, the No, no, that's bit, fine, so don't worry about it. Oh, the tiniest bit. I know, ruin my name. Chicken curry as well. Yes, please. Uh, just a little bit of chicken. A bit more? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many chips yeah. did you want? Let's go for mine. Mine? No, that's great, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 I'm not a pain, I like cauliflower. Good morning. So cauliflower. That's about it, thank you. And some chips. Oh, that's a oh, that pasta as well. No. And then do I go for pasta? Yeah, you want some pasta, yeah. Go on, why not? Oh, yeah. That will do. Lovely, thank you. birthday I was asking him if he'd noticed that as we age time seems to go faster. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. He did agree 
And he asked me if I knew why. Of course, I didn't. So, in his usual wise and wry fashion that we all know and love, he replied, it's because everything takes twice as long. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Whilst considering that Peter has entered his 10th decade and is now classed as a nonagenarian, I'd like to share with you some other famous people who are joining him this year. Maggie Smith and Frankie Valley. Happy birthday to you all. Here are some also some interesting facts from his birth year during the Great Depression, say more, 1934. Peter, cat's eyes were introduced. Yeah? The Selden Committee was established, get this, to investigate the feasibility of a public TV service in the UK. <laughs> Can't imagine that, can you? George V was king. A loaf of bread and a litre of petrol cost one pence. <laughs> the average yearly income was £144, whilst a new home cost £486. How different we are today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Enjoy. And equipment rewarded. Now, there's two or three things I would like to say. First of all, it's my birth it was my birthday on Monday and also is celebrating his birthday on the same time was Paul Coldplay. He's much younger than I am, so he's got, he's got, a, lot of, he's got a lot of catching up, but happy birthday to you. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to begin it. How do you begin? You, you're the pro. I'm just a cameo. I'm just, I'm just saying. I am with my cousin Molly. Have you had a good day, Molly? Yes, thank you. And how was the cake? Oh, the cake. That cake. Yes, nice, thanks. So, so nice. I prefer a lemon drizzle personally, but this is still quite nice. Actually, I didn't even have any because I don't like fruit cake. <laughs> oh, dear. It's nice. You should try a bit of marzipan and icing. I think you like marzipan. I like icing. Go get great cheesecake. Cheesecake. Yeah, I might get some more cheesecake. I've had too much coffee. Look at the uh, the bathroom in here. It's so posh. Such a posh bathroom. We are now back home. It was a very, very nice day seeing loads of family. So I obviously saw my granddad because it was his birthday, his wife Janice, my cousin Molly, his, um, her brother Josh, and her husband Toby. And who else was on my table? I think it, it's my second cousin, and he, he was also called Toby, and then his wife called Stephanie. <laughs> Um, I think it is, like, he is the son of my granddad's half-brother. So does that make us half-cousins? Someone let me know in the comments, because I have no, I, I, I've got no clue. <laughs> but, anyway, um, the drive home was a little bit, um, longer than the drive there. On the M1 there was a crash, apparently. We couldn't see the crash, but it was like a half an hour delay. Um, so I think it took us like way, way over three hours to get home. But had a nice day, had a nice meal and spoke with some family. So now I think tonight I'm just going to chill out. It's about half seven anyway. Oh, you've just got... Oh, there's some lighting. Carry on. Hey, do it. Yeah, shut it. There we go. The camera um, readjusts to the light. And I didn't know that. But anyway, yes, let's just chill out for the night and I'll probably pick you up in the morning. It is now Saturday, the 13th of April, and we have gone to Cleethorpe's seaside. 
I was going to say Cleve Hobbs Beach, but there isn't really a beach. There's literally just the sea. And we're just on a little beach walk. We've come round the corner guys from that corner and we can actually see some beach. So this is Cleethorpe Seafront. It's not the best weather at all today. It was much more um, sunnier and better yesterday, but we was obviously in Birmingham yesterday. But it's quite a nice peaceful walk. There's not too many people about and it's about half 11. Fabulous. And I'm here with Stuart. We have just stopped off for ice cream at Scoops, which is just behind us. And what flavours have we got? So we've got mint chocolate and Biscoff, and then we've got Oreo and mint chocolate chip. Again. Delicious. Had our ice cream now, guys, and now we're at the pier. It is actually a restaurant called Peppers, and it is actually quite a nice restaurant. It is quite busy now. It's, um, you know, we've come to the actual, like, beach beach. There's quite a few people on the beach. There's a few people having a donkey ride over there. Everything's happening on this sunny Saturday. And it, like, the sun has come out. Like, it's trying to rain, but the sun's coming out. We have just gone down sort of Cleethorpe High Street, not really. But uh, we went into Boys and I got some, some plants. And we're just on Isaac's Hill now, on our way home. It is a fair few hours later, we are obviously back home now. Stu has gone to his board game club because he wanted to go board gaming this afternoon. I just wanted to chill out and do some cleaning around the house but I've literally just been sat on my ass on the sofa watching some YouTube. But I'm going to get up and get some cleaning done now. Um. I've just put a wash on, so if you can hear the tumble dryer, that is that doing that now. And I'm going to try and blitz the kitchen. This is the before, guys. Just want to get everything off this countertop, give it a good clean, um, a quick wipe and dry, and then put it all back so it's all nice and clean.
it is all clean and that corner's a little bit more tidier than it was. But yeah, just gave everything a good scrub, gave these two chopping boards a good scrub, washed, um, like, uh, wiped down the appliances, and yeah, it doesn't look too shabby. Now, I don't even want to show you this side of the room, but that's what I'm going to try and tackle next. Might not look as different as it looks now, but at least this side is all clean and tidy. And this is the finished product. So I had loads and loads of mugs here. I don't really know what to do with them. I don't think a charity shop would want them. So I've literally just put them in the uh, in the glass recycling because I just don't know what to do with them, guys. I don't want to sell them because obviously you need like a box and packaging and whatever so they don't break in the post or whatever. And I mean, I could put them on Facebook Marketplace, but <sighs> no, let's just get rid. They've been doing my head in for a good like few weeks now, just sat there when I decluttered my cups and mugs. And now it just looks amazing. Look at that clear space. Obviously I need to sort out my plants. I did the recycling, that's the little tub that we have for recycling, that's Stuart's boxes for its packaging, um, and yeah, it just looks so much more better, so much more cleaner, and I'm quite happy with, with, with this kitchen now, just need to do the floors, they just need a very good um, hoover and a wipe. And yeah, it's looking good guys. It is now Sunday guys. Last night basically I had some tea and then I think we played a bit of Mario Party, Super Mario Party, which I came third out of four. Um, didn't do very well at it, but <laughs> that's it just hated me last night. But today we are off shopping, food shopping. And I think we're going to head to Sainsbury's today. So we did Tesco's last week. I've still got the receipt for Tesco's. So I'll keep the receipt for Sainsbury's today. And then probably next week we'll do Asda again. And then I will like, you know, compare like um, certain items in like the week. So, um, probably probably ne ne next week's vlog. Like when I finish doing the Asda food shop. But anyway, I have got a list here. So these are my meals this week. So mac and cheese lasagna, fish finger pie and fajita bombs. So now I just need to cross off what I have already got. So then I know what I need to buy whilst at Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's guys got all the bags 
down there and then one on the countertop as well and our Sainsbury's food shop came to £95.68 but there is a big but we did have £7 worth of vouchers on our Nectar card so the balance was actually £88.18 but also also we got some of this Bailey's limited edition mint chocolate shake now we obviously don't have like we don't buy this on the regular it is obviously a limited edition and it is limited to Sainsbury's so that's why we bought it that was 20 quid so take that away from 88 which is 68 but then obviously add on the seven quid of the voucher so like Sainsbury's cost us about 75 quid if we didn't have the voucher and if we didn't buy that so just to keep that into perspective guys but anyway I shall show you what I have got Warburton's bread a bottle of milk some Heinz light mayonnaise two tuna chunks in spring water two chopped tomatoes white caster sugar vanilla ice cream two bo bottles of Pepsi Max lime red onions cream of tomato Campbell soup Derrily cheese spread apple juice hummus, chips, sea salt and vinegar a spicy Italian pepperoni and roasted pepper wood-fired pizza fish fingers mixed peppers some chips two diced chicken quarter pounder beef burgers cheese macaroni beef mints beef, beef stock cubes some Warburton's medium white bread some Thamesbury's Taste the Difference uh, Salt and Vinegar Crisps Some Walker's Max Jalapeno and Cheese Crisps Milk, Dark and White Chocolate Chips Brioche Burger Buns Eggs Eggs Some Potatoes And some Tortilla Wraps And three Avocados from Asda and also guys we've got this voucher six pound off when we spend 40 pounds or more on our next shop so that's a bonus it is that time again for folks i am going to do some baking so today i am going to ba be baking jane patisserie's triple chocolate brownies and these are all the ingredients that i need which are all measured out ready to go in my mixer the um, chocolate and butter are in together because I need to melt them and then I need to add all the other ingredients and it's quite a simple bake to be fair you literally just put all of these in together near enough but let's get baking
So guys, it's four eggs. And then I'm going to beat that together with the caster sugar. There's a towel. So caster sugar is going in. And the beater. The chocolate and butter mix that we just microwaved and fold that in but do it gently because there is so much air in the egg and sugar mixture that it you don't want to be taking all that air out again so just fold it in I do a figure of eight when I fold and it's just looking so chocolatey plain flour and the cocoa powder and then fold all this in as well and now the best bit the chocolate So these are the white ones, the dark ones, and the milk ones. look so good and they haven't even gone into the oven yet so now I need to bake these for 25 to 30 minutes oh my god guys these are what they are looking like I just need to let them cool in the tin and then I need to put them in the fridge and then chop them up whoop, whoop. Right guys, I have decided to do a very, very old favourite and do a Mamma Mia low impact indoor walking workout on YouTube. It's the Sharona's Hill one. I used to do this like all the time, like last year, to try and lose weight. Um, and the Mamma Mia soundtrack is like the best ever. I, 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 I do like the Mamma Mia one and the Disney one because she does like both. I mean, she does a whole load of them, but um, they're like my favourites. So yeah, I'm going to do this one. This one's 17 minutes, 17 and a half minutes long. So let's go. <laughs> Right, this has now chilled in the fridge for about an hour now. It does say for about two hours, but I kind of want to cut them up now and put them in a baking tin. So let's do that now.
we're going to finish the evening off with a board game. It's not really a board game, it's like a detective solving game thing. But we're going to do this. And I think I'm going to end this vlog here, guys. It is probably a very, very long one. Um, I We obviously went to Birmingham on Friday. And then yesterday we went to the beach and then today I've just done like a food shop and baked. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.